welcome to Blather Round. This group is perfect. Okay, I wish everyone was a little shorter and a little bit thicker. <laughs> Other than that, you're perfect. You're going to present a secret prop, like Moby Dick. You'll describe it to everyone else with sentences like this one. Now, you can change some of these words, but your options are very limited. Everyone else will be guessing while you make more elaborate sentences. Oh, it's a lot like Free Willy too. Moby Dick! Be fast to win big. And teamwork is rewarded. So talk out loud and work together. Let's begin. It's round one. Pick a prompt. Don't be scared. You'll do great. FYI, the harder prompts are worth more points. Now you're going to craft a sentence that describes your prompt. On your device, you'll see two word columns. Pick words to build a sentence describing your prompt, and then tap Submit when you're finished. You can always change your mind. Just tap the word again to take it out. Guess what? You're going first. The category is story. It's a story about a youthful troop. Time to type in your guesses. That means everyone in the audience, too. In the meantime, the presenter will write another sentence. And a horrible prejudice. Peter Pan. Lord of the Flies. High School Musical. Whoa, a metallic complicated mammal. It's nothing like High School Musical. When the presenter uses your guess in a sentence, you get points. You can't really hear it, but I just did a huge yawn. Please guess something. Guess anything. Transformers. The hero is known for the film. It's kind of similar to Transformers. We're nearing the end. Guess, guess, guess! Spider-Man. Devots. Your mom. Eventually, there's a freaky monster. Oh, time is ticking. Hurry, hurry! Voltron. Failure on the first turn never feels great. But it's good for your skin! If you saw the answer and thought, Oh, that makes sense. Then hit my bad on your device. It's story time! It's a story about a small human. Here we go! Honey, I shrunk the kids. And a cruel mister. Whoa, 
a young trickster. There's no Welcome to the Scrolliseum. These talented trainers are about to face off to see who's the best at creating champion characters with unusual skills. Will the underdogs take down the heavy favorites? It's time to get champed up! In this first step, the trainers will be prompted to draw and name a particular type of champion character. They'll be equipped with two tools, a pen for drawing and a thick marker for coloring in. Once a character is drawn and named, it can be submitted. The timer's been set. Off we go.
seconds remain. Players need to name their character. The trainers are now moving on to creating a challenger. These characters will be the underdogs because their creators will see who they're competing against, but not what the contest will be. So they must analyze their opponent's unique skill set to create what they hope is a worthy challenger. Let's see the drama unfold. It's time for the main event. Our first opponent enters the ring. And in this corner we've got... These two will battle to see who is the champion of Razzle Dazzle. Dominating performance! Give him the old one-two step ball change! In this corner we've got... They'll be facing off against... We'll decide once and for all who is... The Champion of Miracles! This one's just about over. Oh, the humanity! Looks like someone was touched by an angel. Now entering the ring.
come on in. It's time for Quiplash 3, The Last Hurrah. <laughs> I'm Schmitty, and I hope you have your quipping face on. By the way, if you didn't get in the game, you can still vote as an audience member. Type in the room code to join. This is round one. Two prompts will show up on your device. Answer them however the mood strikes. You'll go head to head against someone else's clever answer, and everybody else will decide which one they like better. Points are awarded based on the percentage of people who went for your answer, so make them count. Hope you didn't embarrass yourself. First, but not necessarily best, is a terrible Mother's Day gift. Now vote. And now, a warning that should come with alcohol may cause blank. Decisions, decisions. Choose your favorite. Next up, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it blank. And now, pick your favorite. All right, check this out. The shrimp boat captain never worked again after accidentally catching blank in his net. Time to pick the one you like best. <laughs> Round one is in the books. Let's see how the scoring shakes out. So if round one was an appetizer, round two is a substantial meal. Double the points, double the indigestion.
Don't let me down. Kicking things off. A horrifying phrase to see embroidered on Grandma's pillow. All right, vote. Next, if your mom were a superhero, what signal would you shine in the sky to summon her? Here's the fun part. Pick your favorite quip. Let's see how they handle. To get past the internet troll under this bridge, you must answer this riddle. Now it gets real. Pick your favorite. Let's see the next one. What happens after you've scrolled every single page of the internet? All right, people, it's voting time. Was round two as good for you as it was for me? Let's find out. Come inside and behold Riplash, where all quip roads lead. On your device, you'll see a prompt that requires three separate responses. Don't screw it up, okay? No turning back now. The three most surprising things hidden under sofa cushions. Okay, choose your favorite. According to old people, the only three things young people do these days. And now it's time to vote for your favorite. Nothing to do now, but see those final scores. I hope you're ready for Quiplash 3. Return to Goof City.
I'm your host, Schmitty. And does anybody here have the other half of this amulet? No? Checking? No? Well, my quest continues. This is round one. You're going to get points based on the percentage of votes you get, so don't hold back. It's quip time. At the front of the line is... The strangest clickbait headline, Hot Blank are in your area. It's choosing time. Without further ado, a fact about you that would impress a four-year-old. Okay, everybody, pick your favorite quip. Next on the docket, what's the worst thing to wear when running a marathon? All right, choose your favorite. And next is... If she were alive today, Marie Antoinette would probably say, Let them eat blank. All right, vote for the one you like best. I took a locket of round one's hair to remember it by. Let's look at the scores. <laughs> round two is here and the points are doubled, so stop talking about round one already. Your entire lives have led to this moment. Let's set it off with... The most non-committal way of saying, I love you. Okay, pick one.
moving right along. How can you tell an artificial intelligence has turned evil? Okay, everybody, pick your favorite quip. Let's keep it going. Welcome to the town of Langenheiden Paranurwalen, which in English means blank. All right, people, it's voting time. Okay, what's next? What review fits both a summer blockbuster movie and your last date? Now it gets real. Pick your favorite. And round two is history. Let's see how it'll be remembered. <laughs> Step right up to Riplash. A crazy final round that came to me in a fever dream. Time's almost up, hurry! Are you ready for magic? Three questions you must ask the owner before buying a house. Time to pick the one you like best. Three weird times to just start yelling vroom, vroom, vroom. Alright, choose your favorite. You did it! Now let's see those final scores. Hey there, this is a game we call Quiplash 3. Quips never die.
I'm your host, Schmitty, and could you please take off your shoes? I just cleaned the game. Don't look now, but it's round one. Points are scored based on the percentage of people who choose your response. Let's quip. Okay, here's where the fun starts. And we start with... Against your better judgment, the thing you really want to put down, the garbage disposal. Okay, make someone happy. Next we have the worst thing to say after kissing someone. Here's the fun part. Pick your favorite quip. And here we have the most outrageous thing you can smuggle inside a baguette. Okay, choose your favorite. Next one up. What used to have wings before God took away its power of flight? Decisions, decisions. Choose your favorite. One is but a memory. Let's see those scores. Ready for round two? I hope so, because it's ready for you. Some of the prompts are a bit crazy, so the points are doubled. Let's do this! And the first prompt is... A little secret, if the line for the bathroom is too long, just blank! Okay, choose away!
Let's see the next one. When a rock star asks, how y'all doing tonight? You should never shout back, blank. And now it's time to vote for your favorite. And now, your bathroom isn't dirty, but it has started growing blank. And now, pick your favorite. Let's see how they handle the name of a rom-com where two fishermen fall in love. Time to pick the one you like best. Now that you've laid waste to round two, let's survey the damage. Prepare yourself for Riplash, a final round stuffed to the gills with points. Tick-tock, time's almost up. Let's get thrippin'. Based on your deeds, the three most likely things you'll be reincarnated as in your next life. Okay, choose your favorite. The nation's top three internet searches, probably. Now it gets real. Pick your favorite. You rocked it! But did you rock the scoreboard?
Oh, <laughs> 